Hello everyone. I am so glad you have joined me today. I love sharing my ideas with you and I hope I inspire you with today's creation. And here it is. Isn't it gorgeous? One color, one stamp set. And I did the inside and the envelope. Join me in the craft room and I'll show you how. For my card today, I'm using Pop of Petals and I'm going to use the Butterfly, this spray, this spray, and this spray. I will be doing some off stamping, so I'm pulling in a scrap of paper. <coughs> I'm also using the Coordinating Punch. My ink is Pacific Point. I have a scrap of Whisper White. I have a piece of Whisper White that's one and a half by four and a fourth. I have a piece of Whisper White that's three by three. I have a piece of Whisper White for the inside that's four by five and a half. And my card base is Pacific Point and it is five and a half by eight and a half scored at four and a fourth. And I have my envelope. First thing I want to do is I'm going to stamp my butterfly on scrap paper. All right, and I'm going to set that to let it dry a little bit. Now I'm going to take my three inch piece and my scrap paper and I'm going to use my, excuse me, I'm going to use the little sprig I don't know what it is, but, and I'm going to stamp that. Next, I'm going to come back in with this one, and I'm going to turn it sideways because I do better sideways. All right, I want to off stamp it once, and I'm going to fill in. Almost forgot that would have been a mess all right so I've spilled that in and now I'm gonna come with this one and I'm gonna do <clears throat> a third generation stamping to fill it in even more Do these little spots down here. Oh, there's one over here. There. Now I'm going to take my strip, the one and a half inch strip, and I'm going to use this one and third generation stamping and stamp all over. When you have one color, you can add interest by using the stamps in your stamp set and just doing second, third, and even fourth generation stamping. And I think I have it. <clears throat> All right, let's get rid of the scrap paper so you can see. All right, for this, I'm going to fold my card in half. I'll use my bone folder for a crisp fold. Now this piece is going to go across here like so. So I'm gonna take my glue comes and I'm going to put this down even with the edge of my card and slide it over oh 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 no 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 I should have had it folded to begin with there we go 
and I have just a tiny bit to trim off. So I use my snips and get it off. A little tiny bit. All right, now, this piece is gonna go on here, like so. And I'm going to punch my butterfly out. So let me get that in and see. Nope, it goes in the other way, figures. See if I can get this in. Now I might need to take off a little bit more. <clears throat> now, now I need a post-it note. Too much. Right, give me a post-it note. And this way I can hold it in place and punch it. I want to add a little bit of color to this, so I'm going to use a blender pen. Oh, I thought I had one here, and I don't. Yes, I do. It's behind me. Okay, and I'm going to use the ink in here, and I'm going to pull it way out so it's really light. Just color key parts of the butterfly. <clears throat> and then I want something a little darker for the dots. So I'll use, I won't pull it out. And that's how you get your different colors. By pulling it out, it's much lighter than if you use it full strength. Okay, <clears throat> and then don't forget to clean your blender pen so that you don't have any ink left into it. All right, I think I have this. Let me see. Oh, I closed that up. <clears throat> Here's what I was going to do. I'm going to put this up here, but I need, it has no antenna because you punch them off. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stamp it again so that the antenna are there. And I will add this little butterfly with dimensionals. Oh, that one's empty. Here's some. Just add this on here and I'm not going to sometimes I'll add it in the middle and do up the wings I'm not going to do that on this one I'm just going to leave them flat all right now I got to take the backs off all right now I've got to get this on here correctly so it's going to go like so and then I'm going to put this up on dimensionals also I have to cut some more. All right, I've got them cut. And I'm going to add um, one here and one here, just for some extra support. Take these backs off. And of course, the backs are all sticking to my fingers. And I'm going to put it right like so. Now, if you want to step this up a notch, you can emboss this background. Um, the layered leaves would look really nice with it. You could do a panel of the Pacific Point embossed on a white card. Um, so lots of different ways you can step it up. I like my bling, so I'm going to add some bling, some Wink of Stella, to the body. 
And what happens with Wink of Stella is it causes the blue to bleed a little, but that's fine because it gives it another color. And there we have it. And don't forget to do the inside and the envelope. Let's see what we're going to do next week. <clears throat> All right. Um, I've got two. I will keep the color because I don't have any, but one. Whew. Ah, worked out for me. Okay, I got Winter Woods and Early Espresso. I was a little worried I was going to get flowers with Early Espresso. If you like my project, give me a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe to my channel using the button below. Don't forget to leave me a comment. I also have a Facebook group where I do Facebook Live on Thursday evenings. Head over to Facebook and search Creations in Paper and join the group. If you do not have a demonstrator, I would love to help you out. Send me a message and we can work out what you, how I can help you. I hope you will join me next week when I do Winter Woods with Early Espresso. Have a great day.